Hello, my name is Brian Adams and in this video I'm going to talk about Windows Server 2012 and why I believe you should upgrade to Microsoft's latest offering and take advantage of its powerful new features and improvements. These include Server Manager with Multi-Server Management, Resilient File System, Direct Access, Data Deduplication, Storage Spaces, Cluster Aware Updating, and Hyper-V. But first, let's do an overview on Windows Server 2012. There are only two editions of Windows Server 2012, Standard and Data Center. These two editions have exactly the same features and are only differentiated by virtualization rights when using Hyper-V. With Standard Edition, you are allowed only two virtual server instances, and with Data Center Edition, you are allowed unlimited virtual server instances. Windows Server 2012 has only been released in 64-bit, and both editions can support up to 64 physical CPUs and up to 4 terabyte of memory. In terms of licensing, both editions are licensed for up to two processors, and client access licenses or CALs are still required for every user or device accessing Windows Server 2012. In Windows Server 2008, Microsoft included a variation of installation called Server Core. There are a number of benefits to Server Core, including that it was more secure, it required less resources to run, that Microsoft completely removed all managed code which left a lot fewer places for a possible attack. But it also imposed some severe limits on what you could and couldn't do with a server core installation. Remember when you logged on and all you got was a command prompt? Management of these servers was extremely difficult and if you wanted to revert to the full GUI version you had to rebuild the server from scratch. Well some major improvements have been made to Windows Server 2012. There are now three modes of installation being server core, minimum shell and full installation. The major change is the new mode called Minimum Shell, which is essentially Server Core plus the graphical management tools and infrastructure server feature which has been enabled and makes management of the servers far easier. And you can now switch between the modes without having to rebuild your server. So as an example, you could build your server with the full installation mode, configure it as you need and then when complete, switch modes to Server Core for a far more secure environment with a simple command and reboot. So as you can see, Microsoft has made things a little easier with Windows Server 2012 compared to previous versions in terms of additions and licensing. As both editions have exactly the same features, the only time you would require the Data Center Edition is when you are using Hyper-V and require a large number of virtual server instances. Otherwise, you would only need the standard edition. This includes clustering, so for high availability environments such as SQL or Microsoft Exchange, only the standard edition is required. Server Manager with Multi-Server Management In Windows Server 2012, Server Manager has been completely redesigned. Server Manager starts automatically when logging onto a server, and it now includes a dashboard where you can add multiple servers to provide administrators a glanceable view of your server infrastructure. The dashboard clearly displays any issues by the red and green colors, and issues are actionable directly from the dashboard. So as an example, if the dashboard shows you that services have stopped on three different servers, you can multi-select these servers and start the services concurrently. You can also add roles to other servers without the need to directly connect to those servers first. Resilient File System Have you ever had a situation where you try and open a document you constantly work on and receive this error? You have no choice but to restore a copy of this file from backup. Windows Server 2012 introduces a newly engineered file system called Resilient File System or REFS. REFS provides rapid recovery from file system corruption without affecting availability. It does this by using a copy on write method to update files and save them to a new location every time it is updated to avoid corruptions caused during disk power outage. It improves data integrity protection and is ideal for file server volumes. Windows Server 2012 has also made tremendous progress with the check disk utility where now it fixes data corruption issues in a matter of seconds instead of hours. Check disk can now run with no downtime for the application, even if the problem is with the system drive. Direct Access Direct Access was introduced with Windows 2008 R2 and allows remote users to securely access network resources such as file shares or private websites across the internet without the need to use a VPN. It also allows IT administrators to manage these computers, even when they are outside the office. One of the biggest disappointments with Direct Access in Windows 2008 R2 was the inflexible and complex deployment scenarios in order to make Direct Access work. However, Direct Access in Windows Server 2012 is much easier to deploy. 
Multiple direct access servers is no longer a requirement as you can use network address translation to route incoming connections through to a single direct access server. IPv6 is also no longer a requirement, nor is consecutive public IP addresses. If you are using Windows 8 with direct access, you now have the ability to join a new machine to the domain without needing access to the internal network. Data deduplication. Data deduplication has now been included as part of Windows Server 2012. Data deduplication finds and removes duplication within data on a volume while ensuring the data remains correct and complete. This makes it possible to store more file data in less space on your NTFS volumes. It is ideal for file servers. Data deduplication is not supported on system or boot volumes, remote mapped or mounted drives, or clustered shared volumes. Storage Spaces Storage Spaces is a Windows Server 2012 technology which easily allows administrators to pull different physical drives together into one logical drive. This functionality allows drives of any capacity connected to a PC by USB, SATA or SAS interfaces to be seen by Windows Server 2012 as one large drive. Once you create a storage pool using two or more drives, you can then set up one or more spaces that will be seen by the operating system as a logical drive which can be formatted, partitioned and used just like a physical disk would be. To provide redundancy, you can either apply the mirrored attribute to your pool, which makes sure that a copy of every file in the pool is stored on at least two different physical drives, or the parity attribute which uses some drive space to store redundancy information. When creating a storage space, you can specify a maximum size larger than the amount of available physical space. This is called thin provisioning, and the system will prompt you when the storage pool needs more drives to work with. You can also reclaim storage that is no longer needed, and this is called trim provisioning. You can also expand the maximum size of the storage space at a later point if necessary. With storage spaces, you can now have enterprise class features with non-enterprise class hardware. Cluster Aware Updating Cluster Aware Updating is an automated feature that allows you to update all servers in a cluster with Windows updates with no manual intervention and with little or no loss in availability during the update process. During an updating run, Cluster Aware Updating will automatically perform the following tasks. It will put each node of the cluster into maintenance mode and move the clustered roles off the node to another server. It will then install any Windows updates and any other necessary dependent updates and perform a restart if necessary. Once restarted, it will then bring the node out of maintenance mode and restore the clustered roles to that server before moving on to update the next node in the cluster. In Windows Server 2012, with Hyper-V and Live Migration, Cluster Aware Updating can coordinate cluster updates with no impact to the service availability. Hyper-V There are many Windows Server 2012 improvements and new features centered around the Hyper-V role. These include Live Migration, Virtual Machine Import, Snapshot Merging, Live Storage Migration, Non-Uniform Memory Access, Hyper-V Replica, Shared Nothing Live Migration, and thin trim provisioning. Compared with Windows Server 2008 R2, Hyper-V now has some impressive scale enhancements. Windows Server 2012 Hyper-V hosts now have 320 logical processors on hardware, up to 4 terabyte of physical memory, and 1024 virtual processors per host. Windows Server 2012 virtual machines can now have up to 64 processors and 1 terabyte of memory per virtual machine. You can now have up to 1,024 active virtual machines and the virtual disk size has been enhanced to cater up to 64 terabyte in size. Windows 2012 Hyper-V clusters can now scale up to 64 nodes and have up to 4,000 virtual machines in a cluster. Live migration has been improved in Windows Server 2012. Not only is live migration faster, but you can now live migrate several virtual machines at the same time. Live migrations are also not limited to a cluster. So virtual machines can now be migrated across cluster boundaries and between standalone servers that are not part of a cluster. Virtual machines can also be stored on SMB network shares. Importing virtual machines has also been improved in Windows Server 2012 and now provides a simpler, more streamlined way to import or copy virtual machines. With the import wizard, you can quickly and reliably import virtual machines from one server to another without the need for the virtual machine to be exported first. In Windows 2008 R2, merging a snapshot into a parent virtual machine required the virtual machine to be switched off for the duration of the merge operation. 
This has been improved in Windows Server 2012, where the Hyper-V Live Merge feature allows snapshots to be merged back into the virtual machine while it continues to run. Windows Server 2012 Hyper-V now supports incremental backup of virtual hard disks while the virtual machine is running. Live Storage Migration is a new feature with Windows Server 2012. Live Storage Migration allows users to move virtual hard disks that are attached to a running virtual machine without downtime. Non-Uniform Memory Access, or NUMA, is a new feature that is supported inside of virtual machines. It provides enhanced performance on large virtual machines by enabling the guest operating system and applications to access local memory faster than remote memory. Hyper-V Replica is a new feature in Windows Server 2012. Hyper-V Replica offers an affordable in-box business continuity and disaster recovery solution that provides the ability to quickly recover business functions during downtime with minimal or no data loss. Asynchronous replication of virtual machines occurs over a network link from one Hyper-V host at a primary site to another Hyper-V host at a replica site. And in the event of a failure at the primary site, administrators can manually fail over production virtual machines to the Hyper-V server at the recovery site. Shared Nothing Live Migration, as the name implies, allows live migrations of a virtual machine from one host to another over just a network cable. Shared storage and a Windows cluster are no longer required. Thin provisioning within Hyper-V is a feature where you can specify a VHDX file to have a maximum size larger than the amount of available physical space. Trim provisioning is a feature that allows you to reclaim storage from a VHDX file that is no longer needed. As you can see, there are many new features and improvements in Windows Server 2012 that I believe all businesses should take advantage of. If you would like further information on any of the features discussed, please contact Professional Advantage on the number and email provided. I hope this has been informative for you and I thank you for listening.